It's time for a perfect 10. Come on, Corey, put your hands up. 10, no. 10, 10, 10. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first. Dillinger is far from flawless. The guy got more flaws than counterfeit jewelry. Listen, Corey, just let me break it down for you, okay? Ty doesn't believe he's literally perfect, but it gives him something to strive for. Every time you wake up, you want to be a little better than you were yesterday. That's what the, that's what the perfect head is all about. The guy's a sociopath. All he cares about is himself. All he's worried about is Ty Dillinger and 10, 10, 10. The guy is irritating. I can't stand him. And his partner from Houston, Texas, weighing in at 180 pounds, Sam E. Gutierrez. Byron, how big is this match for these two teams here tonight? Well, Michael, the tag team division is white hot right now. So while a win will obviously be huge, I can tell you that a loss would be absolutely devastating. Given the competition right now, a loss tonight would be a huge setback. Guys, we have a big-time tag team match coming up here. A big-time match with big-time stakes, Michael. Neither one of these superstars can afford a loss right now. Ladies and gentlemen, we have tag team action coming up. And given the state of the tag team division right now and how incredibly competitive it is, this match might just make or break one of these teams.
And here we go, folks, as we get this tag team match started. All the budding tag oh. teams out there hoping to one day make it to the big stage. Better be watching this match with a notepad in hand because you can bet this is going to be a lesson in how it's done. Here's a tag. Opponent off the ropes. Big backdrop. This might be it. Oh, my. He's starting to feel it here. This tag team match can get out of hand quickly if he doesn't mount an offense soon. Now, that got those shoulders on the mat. He's a long way from a three count, I can tell you that. going to take more than that. This is not the place where you want to underestimate your competition. Absolutely not. There have been times in sports entertainment when unlikely duos have formed and over time they develop a bond and become an outstanding tag team combination. The team that immediately comes to mind is the powerhouse duo of Cesaro and Sheamus. After their thrilling best of seven series, I wouldn't think they'd develop into a top tag team. I don't think anyone thought Cesaro and Sheamus would develop into a premier tag team. Over time, the superstars realized that they were better as allies than as enemies. And when they combined their incredible strength, the results were something that couldn't be ignored. It was really unbelievable to witness the evolution of Cesaro and Sheamus as a team. We saw them improve every week and conquer a variety of opponents. To see the Swiss Cyborg and Celtic Warrior go from unwilling partners to WWE Raw Tag Team Champions was truly impressive. starting to tire and at this point how much more does he have to give why he's still in the match at this point is beyond me guys maybe he forgot it's a tag team match i don't know there's got to be some explanation yeah he's clearly not on the right side of this match Jeez. right now which is a little surprising to me what a flip he's not going to like this stay down man He's too quick for him there. In off the tag. Looks like he's starting to falter. This tag team match is dangerously close to getting out of control for him. You know, I thought this match was going to be much more tightly contested. I guess that's not the case, though. Wisely bringing the action back into the ring. your neck what a stomp good grief drop kick yeah he's a guy who can turn up the volume whenever he has to oh the tiebreaker game set match this one is over During the rivalry between the Hardy Boys and Cesaro and Sheamus over the Raw Tag Team Championship, the teams became very familiar with one another. In June of 2017, oh, the teams met in a two out of three falls bout on Monday Night Raw. The most important fall in a two out of three falls contest is the first fall. If a team can win the first fall, that sets the tone for the rest of the match and your opponents are playing catch up. Oh, an elbow drop. The two out of three falls match you saw the Hardy Boys go at it with Cesaro and Sheamus was a throwback of sorts. Throughout the 1960s and 70s, championship title defenses and grudge matches were often decided in the two out of three falls format. 
Cesaro and Sheamus didn't waste any time and scored the decisive first fall after a broke kick rocked Jeff Hardy. Cesaro and Sheamus wanted to continue their domination of Team Extreme, but the Hardys had other ideas as Matt tied things up at one fall apiece after a twist of fate on the Swiss sidewalk. After a swanton bomb by Jeff Hardy, the match broke down and the third fall was ruled a double countout. Beautiful technique. <laughs> Boom, what impact! Oh boy, he is rolling. You gotta believe this one's over. He might have it. Harsh impact. This one's over, guys. Oh boy, he is rolling. Super oh. kick! <laughs> That's what he was looking for, Michael. Ty Dillinger gets tagged in. Oh, he's able to reverse it. Ooh, what impact. Snapmare. Oh, what a snapmare. Oh, perfectly executed. Atomic drop. Ooh. Look at this. Boom. Nice. Keep your eye on this one. Ty Dillinger is calling for it. He's almost got him. Look out! He's gonna be agonizing for the arm. Ooh, nice Russian leg sweep. technique this one is over yeah that had to break a bone tag team history was made when the first ever smackdown tag team champions were found at backlash 2016 the unlikely duo of rhino and heath slater caught lightning in a bottle and ran through the tag team title tournament in the finals rhino and slater took on the usos to see he's looking at it oh, what impact. that's how you put an exclamation point on the end of a match guys There was a lot on the line in the Tag Team Tournament Finals. The Usos wanted to add another Tag Team title reign to their resume and enjoyed the recognition of being the first ever SmackDown Tag Team Champions. The team of Rhino and Heath Slater was the team no one expected to be in the Finals. Slater had extra motivation because he was fighting for a WWE contract. And at one point, it seemed like the Usos had everything well in hand. Look out, look out! This could be it! Oh, the tiebreaker! That has got to be it! If at first you don't succeed, in May of 2017, SmackDown Live saw an incredible women's tag team match when Charlotte Flair and Becky Lynch squared off against welcoming committee members Natalya and Carmella. The rivalry between these women got so intense that Naomi was in Flair and Lynch's corner, and Tamina was in Natalya and Carmella's corner. I think only a group as treacherous as the welcoming committee could bring Becky Lynch and Charlotte Flair back together. Natalia's power set the tone for the match and gave her team an advantage. That was until Carmella's overconfidence let the Irish last kicker turn the tide and get back into the match. And then it was elementary from there for the Irish born. Super Look out, Ty Dillinger is measured. Ty Dillinger, knee to the face. Wow, I'm just as surprised as you guys are. The shoulders are down. And we have our winners. Here are your winners. The Perfect Ten, Ty Dillinger and Sam E. Gutierrez. 
Another exciting tag team match in the books. Few things are more rewarding than that feeling of keeping your opponent's shoulders down for the three count. What a great tag team match. Thanks for watching, everybody.